When we as hunters return to the same areas year after year, I don't think we can help but look fondly at the encounters of the past. And with those experiences, we grow to understand the topography. And like a coach breaking down a busted play, we analyze what we did wrong and daydream about the adventures and when it all worked out. And we return to this coolie scarred landscape, bow in hand, to hunt deer in the same broken country of western Nebraska, seeking to capitalize on what we learned and grasp the glory of the past, yearning to once again be too close for comfort. We're back here in Nebraska, and it's one of Dave and my favorite hunts because of the country, but also just because of the way this hunt sets up. It sets up great for spot and stock. It sets up great for multiple camera angles. Yeah, but it's, it's the reality of it, Trev. If you do it right, you can't do retakes. No. There's no retakes or reenactments. It is just raw, this is how it is, good, bad, or indifferent. Hitting or missing. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. I got them. I got those bugs. They're bedded up against the bank. I found them. I found one of the bugs. I don't know. He's a he's a he's a five by four. He's inside his ears, but he's I mean he's he's decent. Well, this buck's in a great position. If this isn't the buck you want to kill, I'd more than happy just step in. I know, you've you said me so out. many times. You tag me out, you and I'll shoot to, You want me to step down? <laughs> well, let's sneak down around this point. We'll get up on that other bank and, and work we'll our way it. up the bottom yeah. and go from there. There could be some deer in here, too. That's awesome. That's what that's what hunting these coolies is all about. Sneaking up through here, just picking the country apart, able to make a little stock here on the buck. Not one that I wanted to take, but I needed to see him first since I only saw a couple times uh, when when I first spotted him and. It looks like I just gave away my chance to go after that buck. Trevin is up. I'm in the dirt. He was right here, and I'm right there. Oh, look at him. He's right here, and oh, wow. How, wow. Look at where the sun's at. Look at where the sun's at. And the moon, and the stars. <laughs> Dude, you should have had that buck. All right. Remember this from last year? Let me, let me have it, I deserve it. I deserve it. You know what? That that was awesome. Dang, dude. I was so that's probably the most relaxed I've ever been shooting at a deer. We just got done on that buck that Trevin shot into the bank. Called him Lucky Buck now. And since we don't have anything else bedded to go stock on, there's this alfalfa field that's up in the middle between these two bedding areas. So we figured we'd just come up here for the evening and sit and see what moves out. Trevin has gone around to the other end of the field, hunting a different side, and we'll just sit the evening and see what happens. Oh, 
that white tail right in front of Trevin. He's gonna shoot it. He got it. Big white tail walked right by them. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'm sitting here glassing the edge of this field and I see this really nice white tail. I, I see him in the sunlight come out from some cedars over there. And then I look back at the bales that Trevin is sitting at and all of a sudden I see him come to full draw. That buck stops and turns and looks towards his direction. And I see the buck mule kick and then blood just gushing out the side and he said he's down. So that's awesome. I just shot a nice white tail. That is a nice white tail. I am shaking like a dadgum little girl that just got the Princess Barbie she wanted for her birthday. We're just in between the hay bales. And that's a nice white tail. That is a good white tail. I don't care where you're from. Got him, found him. Dave just let us know that they've got Lucky Buck, which is the buck that I actually missed and shot into the dirt bank, bedded here. This could be our last opportunity. So Mike and I are gonna move around, try and get the long lens and get a secondary view of this stalk. Nine yards, nine yards, right there. Lucky buck, ran out of luck. Yes! Oh my God, nine yards, that buck, right on top of his back, his head bedded behind the yucca, just threaded it right between the yucca and the, and the dirt, stuck him in his bed at nine yards. Oh my god!